hello and welcome to this demo in this demo we would be taking a look at the data flow scripting tasks that are provided by SQL Server Integration Services 2008 so in your entire development process of your package there are many things that you would like to customize it so SSIS give us, gives us the facility to write our custom scripts and C sharp code in which we can actually start manipulating our input source then our transformation and so on and so forth so uh, in the earlier versions like SQL Server 2005 SSIS we had support for only Visual Basic but uh, in 2008 you see there is uh, full support for scripting and uh, coding using C sharp so let's just look at a very small demo uh, so let me just create a new project I'll fire up bids I'll call this as df scripting click on ok ok so what we are going to do over here is first of all take some data from an excel file so this will be the same excel file that we made in our first demo so I'll take this excel file so initially let's do something like say if the department ID is less than 10 then we select the name right so in our output we should be having these many names we'll have engineering tool design sales marketing and so on and so forth so let us just first go to our data flow tab and add an excel source so that we can have some input data to work with I'll just configure its properties. I'll create a new connection manager. Just create it again. Okay, two thousand and seven. right so we have some input data to work with for now so the second step what I'm going to do is I'll drag drop a script component so here it gives me three options so I can actually specify how my script will be used in my data flow so it can be used as a source or destination or a transformation so as it mentioned script is a transformation in the data flow and operates on data from input columns and provides data to output columns so that's what exactly we are going to do right now so let me choose transformation and I'll just connect the excel source to this I'll right click and configure the properties so you'll have four options over here near input columns if you see these are the input columns that are coming from the excel file so what we were going to do is we were going to take the department id and check if its value is less than 10 and accordingly take its corresponding name and push it into the output right so i need the department id and i need the name so i'm going to choose the first two ones if i look at the inputs and outputs i would see my input columns and so far I haven't defined my output I, will, I also can remove an output and add an output so let me just call this as processed rows and I need to add a column to this stream I'll call this as department name right so we have one column called as department name so this will be populated if the value of department id is less than 10 right let me go to my script and edit the script so 
so here I can start writing some code so the event that I would be interested right now is this one process input row so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check um, I believe I didn't choose the correct data type right so I need to give this as a string or something yeah string. and I'll just edit the script and here what I'm going to do is if my row dot department ID is less than 10 then I'm going to create a new row in my process rows buffer I'll say add row and I'm going to set the value of department name to row dot name so it's going to scan each row and if it is less than 10 it's going to add a row to the output buffer and correspondingly set the column value to the row dot name maybe it's a very simple thing that we have done oh. so let me just close this and um, let me add a data reader destination and I'll connect this to data reader destination and let me add a small viewer also in this a data viewer essentially I'll be adding a grid control so we have things in place now we have got some input data we are going to see if the department ID is less than 10 and accordingly take the corresponding names alright so we haven't done anything if it is not less than 10 for now alright I'm just debug this package and it has given me only those rows whose department ID is less than 10 so we'll have the last one as human resources that is 9 so, so far so good let us do something interesting to this just edit this one oh, just edit the script